This is an All-American 5 radio, very typical circuit. And what I want to talk about today is the mixer circuit. Here's a little closer look at the circuit. It is V1, the first tube all the way to the left, 12BE6. And in the U.S., our station frequencies on the AM band run about 550 to 1720. And the oscillator in these radios will run 1005 to about 2175, or in other words, 455 kilohertz above the station frequencies. And at the output, or the plate, of the 12BE6, we will have four major lobes of frequency. Oscillator plus the station, the oscillator frequency, the station frequency, and the oscillator minus the station frequency. And that's the one we're going to use because that produces the 455 kilohertz. That's our intermediate frequency. That's what the IF cans are tuned to. Now to represent the station frequency, I'm going to use yellow. And for the oscillator frequency, I'm going to use green. And here's a video on what happens when you mix these together and take the difference. In other words, the oscillator frequency from the station frequency. This is Photoshop Elements. And what I want to do is show how you can mix two colors together, which are frequencies. Let's see here. We want new blank file. And let's see here. Now, we want uh, 1920 here, and 1080 here, um, bup, bup, bup. Now let's see, transparent. Grayscale should be okay. And eh, just in case, let's do RBG color and resolution 600. Okay, and transparent, meaning that there's not going to be anything in it. Okay, and that's what the checkered background is. That means there's nothing there. Let's make this a little bigger. Okay. So, let's see here. Oh, let's grab this tool and let's draw a box in the middle of this. Here you can see the marching ants. And let's fill that with yellow. Let's see, fill. We want color. And I want to do yellow here. A little brighter. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe just a little brighter. Yeah, okay. So now I hit OK and we get our yellow. And that yellow is going to represent the station frequency. Okay, I need the oscillator frequency. Let's make another one of these. We don't need two yellows. So let's fill this one with green. 
let's see here, D -d -d color, and maybe a little darker. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, we'll fill it with green. Now if you take a look over here on the right, upper right, you can see we got green and yellow. Now the view of this is from top down, so the green is hiding yellow, and if I turn off the green, you can see the yellow. And if I turn off both of them, of course, all you see is the little outline of where these were. Okay, now let's come over here and do a mix. Right now we got normal and there's a whole bunch of them that we can use. But the one that I want to use is difference. So when I hit this, it turns red. But if you take a look in the upper right hand corner, we still have green and yellow. So what's going on there? Now if I turned off the green, you know, we can see the yellow, and if I turn off the yellow, we see the green. So, let me, okay, we're on the top one. Let me change the tool here. Now, I'm, I've clicked on this, and I'll be able to move it around. See what's happening? I'm moving the green around. And wherever they overlap, they're mixing together, making a new frequency. And this is the difference. And I'm choosing the difference because that's what's used in the AM radios. It's the difference between the oscillator frequency, which in this case is green, and the radio station frequency, which is yellow. And the oscillator frequency is higher than the radio station frequency. So I think this makes a good demonstration of how what's happening in the mixer. You can see Okay, now I can stop this anywhere, like this. So, station frequency, the difference between the oscillator and station frequency, and green is the oscillator. As we saw in the video, when we took the difference between these two, we ended up with a red color, 455, which is what the IF cans are very sharply tuned to. And this goes through the primary of the first one, and it's magnetically coupled to the secondary, which is also sharply tuned to 455. And there's almost nothing else there but 455 and in some AA5 radios they only have one IF but this one has two to help filter out any other small amounts of other frequencies including the oscillator plus station what we're after is the oscillator minus station only. Now the 12BA6, it amplifies this signal and goes through the next IF stage, which is very sharply tuned again to 455. And what comes out of the secondary is, for all practical purposes, pure 455 modulated signal, which in the 12VA6 gets detected as an AM signal and 
gets amplified. And of course, I have other videos on how the detection works in these AM radios. But this video is about how mixing two frequencies together produces a new frequency and is usable. Thanks for watching.